नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू इंडिया योगा ऑनलाइन प्रैक्टिस वी गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन बिगिनर्स योगा प्रोग्राम पार्ट टू एस इन वन पार्ट वन वी अंडरस्टूड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन बिटवीन बॉडी ब्रेथ एंड माइंड विद ए मेजर अपर पार्ट वर्क द स्पाइन शोल्डर एंड शोल्डर ब्लेड वी विल कंटिन्यू नो इन टू द लोअर पार्ट हिप्स एंड द एंटायर बैक how to coordinate and release those tension with the great coordination of body breath and mind what we need to do slowly come over your knees and sit back on your heels keep your knees and approximately shoulder distance wider take a firm distance between your knees keep your left elbow front of the left knee right elbow front of the right knee toes wider palms knees and toes all are in line but no stress on the wrist elbow or shoulder as you inhale smoothly drop your back and raise the head no stress on the neck exhale and pull the belly softly drop the head a good length on your spine inhale and drop the back and raise the head get a good arch but the ankle press it down with a deep inhalation as soon as you finish the inhalation exhale and raise your back and drop your head inhale and arch your back is one of simple practice but very helpful for any kind of back related issue exhale and raise your back so the amount of the work on your hips and shoulder very helpful for shoulder and hip related issues inhale and drop your back raise the head no stress on the neck or shoulder exhale and raise your back if any pressure on the neck don't drop the head keep the neck neutral inhale and arch your back it is also very helpful to release the stiffness from the upper back shoulder and shoulder blade and also helps to reduce the hunch back exhale and pull the belly and drop the head get a good length on the spine the body should not move front and back one more inhale and drop your back lift your head and arch your back see the nice work on your spine exhale and raise your back drop the head completely that's beautiful slowly bring your legs together and feet together sit back on your heels drop the head and take your hands behind on the sides and sides of the body just watch there's a rich circulation on your head on your face the harmony in your breathing witness that that's beautiful slowly stretch your hand straight ahead and smoothly come front and roll on your belly for bhujangasana breathing one of the beautiful practice you know just lie down comfortably and toes pointed and lengthen your trunk Press the palms next to the chest. The thumb almost touching to the nipple of the breast and fingers well open, but no stress on the neck or shoulder. Toes pointed, and never lock your knee or never stress the neck or lower back. Let's inhale, light contraction in the pelvic floor and lift the chest as far as you can. Roll the shoulder and expand the chest. Exhale and release your chest little by little. inhale and lift and arch light contraction in the pelvic floor roll the shoulder elbows and wrist has to be free there is no stress on that but good work on your upper back exhale and go down inhale lift and arch one of the powerful asana to release the stiffness from the hips lower back and upper back exhale and release very good practice for sciatica inhale and raise but no stress on the neck very helpful to reduce the stiffness from the shoulder shoulder blade and also good for people suffering from hunch back inhale lift and arch with a deep inhalation excellent smoothly go down one more inhale lift and arch feel and come up no rush just stop there for few seconds toes pointed watch the breath see the back reaction for every single breath that's beautiful beautiful enjoy that slowly exhale and go down a 
after doing wonderful work on your bhujangasana place the palms under the thighs elbows out shoulder relaxed there is no stress on the shoulder or elbow or neck toes pointed as you inhale smoothly stretch and raise your right leg it's called shalabhasana breathing exhale and release left feel and stretch and raise it exhale and release continue two more rounds on each side stretch and raise which is very helpful to release the stiffness from the hips thighs and also reduce the cramps from your calf muscles and the feet inhale and stretch and raise your left exhale and back one of the powerful practice to release the sciatica pain and lower back pain release with exhalation inhale and stretch and raise but no pressure on your opposite knee exhale and back this beautiful once you understood really well that stretch your hands straight ahead the next variation of it it's also shalabhasana variation as you inhale raise your right leg and left hand without tilting your body up arm touching to your left ear exhale and release inhale and stretch your left leg and right hand but there is no pressure on your right knee exhale that's beautiful remain get a good extension on this body inhale and raise but no stress on the neck exhale and go down inhale and raise the left leg and right hand but there is no weight on the left hand exhale one more time inhale and raise your left leg left hand and right leg exhale see the amount of work on your back muscle particularly the right hip and left shoulder now when you are raising the left leg see that the amount of work on your spine back muscles the left leg right arm right shoulder left hip exhale and go down that's beautiful now if it is comfortable slowly take your hands under the thighs in case you have any kind of back pain or during menstruation suffering from sciatica should avoid this any kind of hernia also one should avoid this completely also high blood pressure and heart related problem should take easy from both legs and chest together raising others prepare inhale and lift and raise your thighs as well as your chest exhale and slowly go down no rush at all huh? inhale and extend it and raise that's beautiful light contraction in the pelvic floor exhale and release inhale lift the thighs lift the chest roll the shoulder light contraction in the pelvic floor exhale breathe in out in out the last one now inhale and raise your chest as well as your thighs so the amount of work on your back muscles thighs and both legs feel so heavy but no stress on the neck or lower back this is solid work on the entire back muscles see so the upper back reaction to every inhalation and exhalation keep breathing don't forget to smile keep breathing keep breathing the last few seconds breathe long and deep that's beautiful slowly go down see the amount of work on the back muscles on your respiration beautiful now smoothly release your hands in case you are tired you can cross the hands rest the palms on your shoulder you can toes pointed out and rest it for few seconds and see those beautiful work on your back muscles spine shoulder shoulder blade and if in case you are not comfortable next asana also take it easy one should avoid this completely in case of menstruation any kind of hernia or any serious back pain or neck pain also better avoid initial stage others rest the hands on your side bend the knees smoothly grab your ankles just make sure you are breathing still 
without any rush, smoothly nail and raise your thighs as well as your chest as far as you can. Complete work around the navel. Exhale and release. Inhale and raise your thighs and your chest. See the amount of work on your abdomen region. Exhale and release. One more. Inhale and raise it up. Just be there. See the work around the navel. One of the very helpful practice for constipation, indigestion, irritable bowel syndrome, fatty liver, or if you have heavy legs and release the rigidness from the shoulder, shoulder blade and neck. Very helpful to overcome from the scipiosis, a hunchback. But breathe long and deep, never rush. Breathe smoother and longer. That's beautiful. Slowly go down. Beautiful. Smoothly release your legs, release your hands, legs together. Take your hands next to the chest and smoothly come up. Softly sit back on your heels and relax in Shashankasana. Totally relax with the rich circulation to the head. A nice stretch on your back muscles, spine, changes in your respiration. Once you're ready, Slowly come front and roll on your back for Urdhva Prasarita Padasana. Roll on your back. Keep your legs together. Feet perpendicular. Spine comfortably resting on the floor. If comfortable, raise your hands over your head. If you are not some comfortable, any pressure on the neck or shoulder, keep your hands on the sides of the body. Now, Inhale and raise your right leg as far as you can. Exhale and release. Inhale and raise your left leg. Exhale and release. Don't rush. Smoothly with a good coordination of the breath. Body should not tilt. Exhale. Breathe in and raise your left leg. No rush. Exhale, inhale and raise your right leg up till 90 degree. Just watch. Do not disturb your left side at all. Hold it for few seconds and see the reaction from your quadriceps, hamstring, lower abdomen muscles, back muscles so actively for every single breath. It's beautiful. Release your right leg. Now, without disturbing your right leg, smoothly raise your left leg. Entire right side is active there. Raise your left leg as high as you can. Just hold it. Be smooth and long. Beautiful, beautiful. Exhale and smoothly release. No rush at all. That's beautiful. After having a beautiful work, on the Urdhva Prasarita Padasana, smoothly release your hands on the sides. Turn the palms down, bend the knees. Place your feet in approximately shoulder distance each other, same distance between your knees. Turn the palms down, Setu Bandhasana breathing. Pressurize your feet, switch every part of the work into the feet and smoothly raise the hips as high as you can, lengthen your spine. Exhale and release your spine. Vertibra by vertibra. That's beautiful. Inhale and lengthen your spine. See the active work on the feet. Lengthen the spine. No stress on the neck. Exhale and release your spine. Vertibra by vertibra. Inhale and light contraction of the pelvic floor. See the amount of work on the thighs, back muscles. And you see the length of the spine, very helpful to release any kind of back pain, back stiffnesses. Inhale and extend it. The entire work switched into the feet, which gives a good length in the spine. See the pressure on your chin and throat, very helpful for thyroid and thyroid related problems. One more, 
inhale and raise it up, raise it up and just hold it, beautiful, just hold it as far as you can. This is also one of the powerful asana to strengthen your leg. Any weakness in the lower back consistently when you repeat it helps a lot. Any pain during the pregnancy, this is one of the powerful asana to reduce and it strengthens the back. And you can see the amount of arch in your upper back, release the stiffness from the shoulder and neck. Watch every single breath there, that's beautiful. Smoothly release your spine, vertebra by vertebra. Softly release your leg, there is no rush in it. Don't forget to smiling. And we will have some more stretching practice. It's called Pavana Muktasana breathing, the wind releasing sequence. Free together, rest the hands on your side. In case you have any neck pain or lower back pain, little take it easy. And first few times just watch and try only leg positions. Okay, others can work in this. What we need to do now, exhale and bend your right knee, simultaneously raise your head. Bring your chin into the right knee if you're comfortable. Hug your thigh. Inhale and stretch your hands over your head and release your right leg. Exhale and fold your left leg. Pull the belly and press the thigh against the belly and chin goes all the way to the knee. Any pressure on the neck, keep the head remain down. Inhale and stretch. That's beautiful. Exhale and right again. No rush at all. Okay, you always play and practice. Inhale and stretch your hands over your head. Exhale and left leg now. Feel and do it. The pressure on the belly completely. Release. Two more we will do in. Right? One of the powerful asana release the constipation, indigestion, IBS, and also very helpful. Release your leg. Very helpful to improve the mobility on your ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, shoulder blade and neck. Slowly release. That's beautiful. In case you are feeling very good and comfortable, you can try with both legs together. Are you ready? Very good. Exhale and bend both the knees. Softly bring your chest, thighs over your chest. Hug it. Inhale and smoothly release your legs and hands simultaneously. In case any pain on your lower back, please avoid only work on the alternate leg. Exhale and bend the knees and hug your thigh. Inhale and stretch your hands and release your leg. One more. Exhale and bend the knee, hug your thighs. If comfortable, chin into the knee. If you're not comfortable, keep the head remain on the floor. Just stay there for a few seconds. See the amount of pressure on the belly. Stretch on the spine and back muscles. But no stress on the neck. Keep breathing smooth, keep breathing long. Just a few seconds. There is a huge chance of releasing the wind around the belly. Smoothly release your hands and legs simultaneously. That's beautiful. Now we will move a little bit intensifying of Pavana Muktasana or a wind releasing. Slowly bring your thighs again on your chest. As you exhale, vertebra by vertebra come up. Remember, in case any pain on your back, on your spine or suddenly back drops, keep the knee little wider and try. It's still not comfortable, leave it and just watch and work on the previous practices. Exhale and smoothly come up. That's beautiful. Inhale and go back, vertebra by vertebra. Exhale and come up. See the nice work on your back, entire back muscles and spinal column. Exhale and come up. We'll just do five times. Inhale and go back. Exhale and come up. Another powerful asana to release the stiffness from the back. Release the, it helps to release the wind and improves the confidence level and reduce the fear. Always you have to play within your limit. Don't fight with it. That's beautiful. Slowly back to center. Hug your thighs. Just to roll. Smoothly turn to your right. Don't suddenly drop. Inhale and come back. Turn to your left. As far as you can. Inhale and come up. Right. 
and left. You can see the amount of massage taking place on your back muscles, shoulder, shoulder blade, but do not rush, beautiful. Three more times on each side, that is beautiful, feel and do it, very good. The four and one more now, within your comfort, it is very difficult, you can just hold the shin and do it, no need to the pressurize or stress yourself to do that, that is beautiful, very good. Keep the thighs remain over the chest and take your palms under your head. It is called Jatara Parivartanasana stretch, one of the beautiful twist, very helpful to release the stiffness from lower back and hips and also gives a nice work for the waist. Exhale and take both legs towards your right and look over your left, inhale and come back, exhale and stretch the legs to the left and look over your right upper back should be flat, inhale and come back. In case you find too difficult, keep the feet on the floor and exhale and stretch the legs to the right, look over your left, back to center, stretch the leg to the left, look over your right, slowly back to center, one more to right, feel and twist it up to your comfortable limit, center to your left, that is beautiful, back to center, slowly lie down on your back. And completely relax. Totally relax. With the whole body. How beautifully it relaxed. Any uncomfortable readjust it. The inhalation makes you full of energy. Exhalation shows you a deep relaxation. Inhalation is a full of energy. Exhalation is a deep relaxation. Watch that. Slowly draw your attention around your heart beats. Sincerely listen to your heart. See what a harmony in it. You know one thing, our heart beats around 70 times for a minute. Just watch one or two minutes every day, your heart will be so happy. The heart is one of the powerful functioning system in our body, which communicates to the entire physical body, to the mind and to our emotions. Whenever get a time, just watch your heart beats for a minute or two every day. If possible, fix a time and try that. It will be powerfully relaxes and quickly relaxes the mind. Now the entire body is relaxed, heart is pumping so harmoniously, breath is freely flowing mind is totally quiet. Slowly bring your legs closer, interlock your fingers and stretch them straight, inhale and stretch, 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 stretch and release. Smoothly turn to your side. Just watch for a few seconds there, eyes remain closed. smoothly roll in and come to seated, minimize your movement, with the complete quietness, the flow of your every breath. Totally take your hands behind your back. Exhale and bend front as far as comfortably you can, no rush, no force. Inhale and slowly come up, release your hands, gently wrap your palms, beautiful. Cover on your eye cup, feel the warmness around the eyes.
put up a permanent cheek and give gentle finger massage. Release your hands with few gentle blinks, open your eyes, look straight your palms. Dhanyavad. And don't forget, learn right, practice consistently, enjoy your path of yoga, find the happiness. Have a wonderful practice. Thank you.